I'm here with my Dash mini rice cooker and today I'm making some lentil soup. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. I have a half cup of lentils. These are little tiny lentils. I just bought these yesterday at the Dollar Tree. And I measured out a half cup and I rinsed them well and I picked out any debris that I saw, but what I'm gonna do now is put this in the rice cooker and then look through it again, make sure there's no rocks or anything that I don't want to be in there. Anytime that you're using any kind of dried beans or dried peas or anything like that, you always just wanna look through them and make sure there's nothing in there that should not be in there. Today I found something that looked like, almost like a little twig, but this looks good. I have my lentils in my pot and now I'm going to add just enough water to cover them. Now I'm going to press cook. I needed to add the water in order to be able to press cook. It was too light and it would not let me do that, so that's why I added a little water. The other ingredients that I'll be adding to the lentils are about two ounces of chopped up chicken. I think I'm actually gonna chop this up a little bit smaller before I add it. I have one carrot that I've chopped up, one stalk of celery that I chopped up, and a little bit of red onion. Uh, it's probably like a heaping tablespoon of chopped red onion. And then I also have about a cup of chopped fresh spinach. So here's my soup pot. Let's add the chicken. Now you don't have to add chicken. Uh, you could use any kind of meat that you have available and you could also not put any meat in it at all. Lentil soup is a really great vegetarian or vegan soup when you don't add any meat to it. It still comes out good. Now I'm gonna add the vegetables. And this is why I didn't want to put too much water in the pot uh, with the lentils because I knew I was filling it up with other ingredients and then I'll put more water in after I put the veggies in. And now we'll put the spinach in. I'm pushing it down. The spinach will cook down, the veggies will cook down, and the lentils will absorb water. I'm gonna add a little bit more water Basically, I just wanted to see the water level come up to about here. And I'm gonna put the lid on. Perfect. And we'll come back in about a half hour just to check on this. It's been about a half hour now, and this is boiling away. Let's open this up and take a look at what's going on here. Yeah, this is super full, oh my gosh. The lentils have really absorbed water and expanded. Like this is totally full. Maybe I should have used less lentils. I thought half a cup of lentils would be good, but this is packed. There's still room for them to uh, absorb and expand. Although we'll see what happens. This might overflow. I'm just giving it a quick stir. So what I realized is that I did not add any seasoning to this. Um, normally I don't add any salt and pepper until like the end when it's being served. But I do like some kind of like herbs in here. So I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. I have this Italian seasoning blend. I'm just gonna put some in. Not too much, I don't want it to be too overpowering, but I do like the flavor that it gives. And this is uh, mixed spices, uh, fennel, oregano, thyme, red pepper flakes, basil, roasted garlic, sea salt, carrots, and sesame oil. This is like a Sicilian Italian seasoning. And I'm just going to stir this in. Obviously, you could add any kind of seasoning that you like. You could also add some garlic uh, to the lentil soup. Wow, this is really full. Um, okay, so I'm going to cover this again. And we'll be back in another half hour to check on it. Okay, another half hour has gone by. So this has been cooking for an hour total time. Let's open it up. It 
So it looks like the lentils have absorbed most of the water, if not all of the water. I'm not seeing like any broth at all. So I'm definitely going to be adding more water. So I just filled it back up with water. Yeah, now it looks more like a soup again. It smells really, really good. Okay. So I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna come back in another half hour. It's been another half hour, so it's about an hour and a half of total cooking time right now. And the soup is simmering really nicely. It's still really thick. The lentils absorb some more of the water that I put in. Um, but I'm definitely gonna taste it and let's see where we're at. Are the lentils soft? Are the veggies soft? Let's see what's going on here. The soup is done. I'm going to unplug it. It's still going to continue to cook for a while with the residual heat. But the lentils are nice and soft and the veggies are nice and soft. And, and you can really tell by the broth. See how the lentils have started to break down and thicken the broth? That's how I really like it. So I'm going to let this cool for just a little bit and then I'm going to have a bowl of it. Looks like it made quite a lot. The soup looks so good. It's really thick. This is almost like a lentil stew, but I like it like this. You could add a little bit more water if you wanted to, to make it more brothy, but this is really good. I did not even add any salt and pepper, but the Italian seasoning really gave it a lot of nice flavor. And the Italian seasoning that I use does have a little bit of sea salt in it. So I'm really happy with this dish and I think it made about um, two to three cups of soup. The bowl that I'm using right now holds about a cup of soup. So I know there's enough in here for several of these size bowls. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.